Welcome to Getting to Know Chronicle. I'm John Stoner, a member of the Adoption Engineering team at Google Cloud, and today we're going to talk about the options available when creating and editing rules. For each rule, we have a number of options available to us. At a high level, these include turning the rule on or off, when we run the rule, and the version of the rule we have available to us. Let's look at these concepts and how they apply to a rule. Now, in the top right corner of our rules pane, we can see three dots just under the view rule detections button. When we click on these dots, we can see a listing of rule options. It's important to understand that the rule options you see here are specific to the rule in the pane. We have the rule windows event log cleared selected, and that based on the options, we can see that the rule is not live. That is, for every new event coming into Chronicle, we are not applying this logic against those events. Notice we are also not alerting. If we had alerting turned on, detections associated with this rule would appear in the alerts and IOC page, like this. Live and alerting rules mean that the analysts would be triaging these alerts as they are identified. We can activate these options by flipping the switch next to each option, like this. You may be wondering why we would have alerting turned on, but not a live rule, or vice versa. The reason is that there may be rules that are being tested, or hunting rules, that we want to collect detections against and analyze, but we don't want them to appear in the alert queue for our analyst to triage. Conversely, we might want to run a retro hunt using a specific rule and generate an alert against historical data, but not use the rule against new data. Now, when it comes to hunting a rule, we can set our rule to run at a specific frequency, 10 minutes, one hour, or 24 hours. As just mentioned, we can also perform a retro hunt to run our rule against historical data. This can be incredibly helpful when new logic has been added to Chronicle that you want to use against older data. From a versioning perspective, we can duplicate our rule. So if you wanted to use it as a template for a new rule, we can. We can also view the detections a specific rule has triggered, which has the same capability as the button at the top of the page. The, new, the view versions option allows us to view and compare versions of the rule and save them so if logic changes over time, we can easily understand the differences between them. Lastly, we can archive a rule if we no longer want the rule to be used against live or historical data. Archiving the rule does not delete it, however. The options provided in the rule engine allow us to control whether a rule is being applied against our live data and if an alert is generated on the match. It also provides us the ability to define the frequency a rule is run, and if it is run against historical data, and if so, what span of time should it consider. These options also allow us to compare versions of the rule that have been saved over time, make copies of rules for other uses, as well as archive rules that are no longer needed. If you want to learn more about Chronicle, check out my blog series called New to Chronicle for more handy tips. We have a number of community URL detections at our GitHub site and are continually adding more. And don't forget to engage the security community at googlecloudcommunity.com. Thanks.